everybody. Thank you for coming back to my channel. This is Sarah, Poor Choices by Sarah. Um, today we are going to do a straight pour on a 20 by 20 canvas, gallery wrapped. It's going to be like a galaxy type pour, but uh, my husband got me this really cool green glow in the dark UV paint by Techno Glow. And I mixed it yesterday and put it under the light and it is crazy how it glows. So I'm going <clears> to <throat> include that in here and see how it dries. Um, whenever we got the, whenever he ordered it, it actually came with a pamphlet and it talks about um, like how much pouring medium you can use. And it says not to use more than, wait, let me see. It says we recommend a mix ratio of about 20% glow powder to paint or most other clear mediums. Um, so that's kind of what I tried to do and my pouring medium today is Fluatrol. So along with the glow in the dark paint, we have Liquitex Basics in Dioxazine Purple. We have Deco Arts Metallics 24 karat gold. We have Master's Touch Turquoise Deep. And we have Color Shift in Purple Flash. We have Master's Touch Prussian Blue. And we have Art Mine Sapphire. And we also have White. And my White is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in White. And I put <clears throat> like this much paint. And then I do three scoops with my popsicle stick of Deco Art Satin Enamel in white. And then I fill the rest of the cup up to here with Floetrol. And then I mix, mix, mix. And I do like a couple of those at the time because I use a lot of white. So, um, I prepped the back of my canvas with blue tape. Sprayed the back so it's tight like a drum. There you go. And... As always, Sarah Mac, I learn all my um, straight pouring skills from you. So thank you so much for being awesome. Um, I watch YouTube videos all the time. Waterfall Acrylics, Pouring Your Heart Out, um, Rinske, Molly's Artistry is actually the person I started watching um, that got me into pour painting. So um, I, I watch YouTube all the time. I'm sure there's people that I'm missing right now. Oh, Gina DeLuca, she's wonderful. Dan Hodges, so, 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 so many people I could keep going on. All right, so we're gonna pour. So this is that glow in the dark paint and it kind of looks a little thick, but I don't care because I, we're gonna just hope for the best today, ladies and gentlemen, because I want it to glow. Please don't let that be too much. And then we're going to do Prussian blue, actually. I'm going to do just a little bit of this white on top. Okay. Well, good job, Sarah. I nicked the top of the glow in the dark paint. <laughs> Did a little bit of the white. Now we're gonna do Prussian blue. So I mixed this, I think I mixed the Master's Touch to like that much paint, to like that much Floetrol. I love Prussian blue, it's so beautiful. Oh, I, for I totally forgot I was gonna add this one in there. So this is Art Minds, I can't remember. No, I did, I did put that on there. I'm losing my mind, y'all. I had forgot to uncover the paint and I <laughs> thought that I'd totally forgotten about it. I'm losing it. Okay, so we have Prussian blue. We're gonna do the sapphire. Uh, it's, it's been a week. I'm glad my brain's still working. Kind of. Kind of, sort of. Next, we're gonna do the dioxazine purple. Twenty four karat gold. Okay. 
do some white, actually. I'm going to do a little bit more of the glow in the dark. I was gonna film during the day today and then I realized it's Alabama and it doesn't matter because there's no sunlight. There hasn't been sunlight in weeks, so silly me. I do the teal. I'm so ready for summer. Summer's my favorite season. I don't care how hot it gets, I don't care how humid it gets, I just love it. I love the sun, I love going to the beach. Love being in a pool. Push some blue. Amethyst. I think that's amethyst, right? Yeah. gold man when you buy it it's like peanut butter in the jar it's so pretty and I don't know hopefully this glow in the dark stuff looks cool and it doesn't mess with the chemistry of the paint and make it look all funky but we're learning we're gonna see I have I have high hopes blowing outside. I had to drive my kids to an appointment today, 30 minutes away, and I was like, Ugh. the weather was just terrible. Gold. I like gold. Let's do some glow in the dark. That tube is pretty tiny. There's not a whole, whole lot. Oh, it's actually sinking. Yeah, I thought it was thicker. Oh, man. Well, that's going to be a mess. Maybe it won't look that bad. You see the cup ate, the cup ate all that paint. It didn't do it with the other layers, I didn't think. But look, it's like all down the side. Hmm. I am curious as to how this is going to work. We're going to find out, though. All right. That's enough of that. <clears throat> then we're going to do some white. And then we're going to do... Let's about this color. Dun, dun, dun. And we're going to do... Uh, blue. Ooh, I am very curious about the glow in the dark paint now. <laughs> how it's gonna look when the lights are out since it all sunk. How it's gonna react to the other paints. I don't know. Let's see if I can tuck a little bit more gold. I love that gold. Yeah. Here we go. 
we're going to pour some white down. Stretch it out a little bit. And then I'm going to torch this. <clears throat> I'm going to try to be stingy with my propane because I just realized that my tank's probably almost out soon. All right. <clears throat> so. There's our cup. Looks really pretty on the top. All the glow in the dark paint has sunk. There's a ton of it on the bottom, so I just gotta make sure not to pour it all, all out. All right, here we go. If I'm quiet, it's because I'm focused. Ready to go. Ooh, those are pretty cells. Cup's pretty. Kind of reminds me of Marty Girl. Okay. That looks kind of muddy and weird right there. And I wonder if it's because of the glow in the dark paint. Alright, so now I'm going to cover the rest of my canvas with white, actually. looks really pretty. I like all that. That, that is just very questionable. My friends, very questionable. Watch there be like one big glow in the dark blob. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to stretch it this way and then we're going to stretch it this way. I have to make sure that the weight of the paint stays in the center so that I keep my composition the way that I want it. Oh. That looks cool so far. Let's torch it. <clears throat> So, 
Here we go. Where are you, paint? All right, which way are we gonna go? We're gonna go this way. Where my hand was. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit and I'm gonna torch it. Reminds me of, <laughs> reminds me of Nemo a little bit. So now we're gonna go. Here we go. <clears throat> oh, come on, gold, don't mess up. Please, please stay pretty. Oh, yes. I think I like that. Oh, let me. Hmm. I really like that. And if I'm being honest, I think that my composition would actually be Please don't let me drop this because I'm fuzzy. Okay. Hope you can see that well. I think that's it. I think that looks good. Let me torch it. Let's see. Let me see what you can see. <gasps> Look, it looks cool. I'm totally gonna rip my neck. Yeah, I dig it. There's not a whole whole lot in there, but oh, that is really cool. You can see the. Uh, well, I don't want to lift the cup over the painting to um, accidentally drip the paint on it. But let me see if I can turn the lights back on. Thank y'all so much for watching my video. Please make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel, like my video, and let me know um, if there's something else that you want to see from me. Y'all have a wonderful day. Thank you.